Guys, King Lizard, Xbox One and the Zombie Army Trilogy. So this is an offshoot PC mod which they've turned into a fully fledged game in its own right. Originally started out life as Sniper Elite version 2. Something we saw obviously on the Xbox 360, very good game. They've hence adapted it on the PC, some smart guys turned everything into zombies. And now we get the fun of blasting zombies. Sniper Elite style, which sounds pretty good to me. So this is the Horde mode that I'm playing. And this is Wave 1 on a map called No Sanctuary, which is an old church, old abandoned church, kind of derelict church. So initially you'll start out defending from this window, as I am at the moment. Once you clear this area, though, um, things tend to open up. This is my, uh, not my third match. I've already done one recording. This is my second recording. So I've, I've had a little bit of a run around, but initially when I first played this level, I finished this section and then I got killed instantly because I wasn't aware that the door behind me had opened up and all the zombies were running in behind me beating the crap out of me. So uh, once this chap is dead and you'll get the indication there the yellow skull will pop up behind you know on top of the last four zombies I believe. Well, that's what I've seen so far anyway, lovely headshot there. So that's the end of wave one and it's now roam around time. The zombies coming up from everywhere. I cut the section out in between wading because I didn't see the point of keeping that in because obviously it's not very interesting. So I get myself on the move here, trying to familiarise myself with what is available to me weapon wise. He's got Thompson to take his head off, he used a lot of bullets to do that though. Won't be able to afford to do that very often. And off the zombie corpses, just like in Sniper Elite, you can select A and pick up some goodies from the corpses. However, with the zombies, you never ever pick up things, you know, the larger munitions like, um, you know, explosives. You're always going to just be picking up bullets and stuff. Okay, that's close quarters kill there. distance with the old submachine gun. Oh, he's getting a bit too close for comfort there. Time to move on. Things picking up in terms of zombie numbers. Oh, not see any problem with zombies. They lumber all over the place, so you're going to miss them. Oh, top of his head off. <laughs> Still kept coming for a few seconds. Isn't it? I'm running out of room to back off to here. I think. Final pop before I move on. Down this section here. Now I know the zombies can come down that section, but they don't seem to do that that often. A lot of the time, they will actually come all the way back round again and down this side. Not the way those bodies just lumber forward after their heads been popped. Looks fantastic. Very creepy, eerie level. Quite a creepy soundtrack this game as well. Quite like the way they put the whole bundle together, you know, the soundtrack with the graphics and the gameplay. Obviously being a sniper elite game, it's you know it's just fun to play really. Just nice gimmicky kind of deaths from the uh, you know the cutscene shots where you get to shoot something in the head from a distance and it'll zoom in nicely and see you splatter brains everywhere. It's just <laughs> just wholesome, good fashion, good old fashioned fun. So so far, I managed to give these guys a run around. It's not. I would say it was quiet, but it's not exactly frantic at the moment. I'm not kind of seriously in trouble. I can kind of get out of things at the moment. I think as a solo horde player though, I think that's going to change when we get to probably level 3 or 4. Things are going to get particularly hot and difficult. Mm -hmm. 
the campaign of this game is, you know, pretty um, similar to, you know, Sniper Elite 3 or 2 in regards to, you know, the similar type objectives, similar type shooting and stuff, but more importantly, similar, you know, level lengths, some of the level lengths of Sniper 2 when I was playing it, I haven't quite finished it yet actually, I need to go back to it, but when I was playing that, the levels where I'd got to halfway through the game were taking an hour and a half, two hours at a time, it was kind of becoming a Sunday afternoon game, so I mean, you need lots of time to play through it. The uh, Sniper Elite game, again, the later levels of that game do get, you know, very, very long, and the two levels of the campaign I've played so far together um, total two and a half hours just for two levels and that's the very beginning of the game so there's plenty of plenty of stuff to do in this game obviously it is very samey in terms of you know what you're doing yours killing zombies you do get different types of zombies and more difficult enemy as the game progresses um, and I'm sure I haven't seen everything yet because um, I've only played so much of the game but it's you know it's it's very um, the word it's a wallpaper game you know it's a vanilla experience it's you know these guys have done a great job putting these on the graphics and everything together to give it the right feel and you know give the player the want to uh, execute zombie after zombie it's score based um, excitement really you know you, you, you're really trying to get through these levels as quickly as you can kill as much as possible and die as as little as possible while doing it, and it, it does bring back the old, you know, the old days where games were all about getting the best score and getting your name on the board, and that's pretty much what this game's about. There's a lot of leaderboard um, based data in the game so that you can compete online against other people and the various harvests. So this is actually um, normal mode that I'm playing which is called Marksman Difficulty, however on the campaign I'm playing the hardest level of difficulty so when you see, start to see me posting those, and hopefully I'll have one of those the first level up in the next few days um, that is actually on the very hardest level of the game and it is quite tricky, didn't find the first level too bad, the second level the end of the second level is a nightmare at that level You've got these kind of sniper guys that keep jumping back and forth and they make your life hell and they don't take a lot to down you. Oh, shot him in the heart. Merry Christmas. Now these armoured guys, to insta-kill them obviously it's quite between the slit there. Um, however, you can, you know, tinker away at their body parts and kill them as well. <laughs> oh, just got missed by a flying torso. Excellent stuff. Down to the last four or three in this case. Wasting a lot of bullets there. I should have switched to pistol really. But it's not as fun, is it? So we're in the level four. Definitely don't want to drop that gun, pick it back up. Zombies in my favourite area at the top of the stairs, forcing me to go elsewhere. That's my first victim of the day. Another armoured guy, these guys are becoming a bit more um, common. Oh dear, don't go down. That's a strange thing as well, you can actually kill them if you shoot them enough without taking their heads off. I think they should have made it so you could only kill them by taking their heads off, because that's what zombies are all about, obviously. It's going to make the game a hell of a lot harder, but, um, you know, be more kind of true to the zombie legend. But you can actually hit, you know, I've had like um, the replay mode come in and I've killed, insta-killed a zombie and I've only kind of clipped its neck and actually hit it in the head as such. Um, so some of the kills you kind of think, oh, you shouldn't have really died there, but when you're in the midst of the uh, thick of action and you're up to your neck in zombies, then you'll take any kill you can get. Was that a sniper shot? It might have been a 
sniper shot on me then. If it is, that's going to be a bit of a nightmare, especially with these guys still around giving me help. Oh my god, what the hell? Ah! Ah, get away, get away! What the hell? Explosives on me. It's the first time I've seen one of those. Let's get a shotgun. Uh, what the hell is that? Ah. Shit. Another one. Let's keep on the move here. That's gonna kill me before long if that keeps happening. Fortunately for me, I didn't have any mines in those areas or anything or any trip mines because that would have I'm sure that pretty would pretty much would have put an end to me. It took his arm off. Excellent stuff. Shotgun ammo super low here. Down the forward. Oh, I'm getting hit by the ground. It's all happening. Close <laughs> quarters. Blasting of the shotgun. Oh my god. How the hell? I'm in big trouble here. Armored guy's up to the eyeballs. And now I've got a fully armored guy. God knows what I'm supposed to do to him. This was your way of killing him, especially way you'll pick up the Panzer Shrek. No, I won't pick up the Panzer Shrek just yet. I want to save that. See if I can get some cheeky kills in. Oh shit, no! Ah, he got me killed. Bloody hell. Climbed up and I dropped straight back down again. Shit, I'm out of ammo. I'm missing. Panic firing here, need to regain my composure. I'll run the fuck away. <laughs> I'll run the fuck away, I think. Right. Excellent shot, I know. That's one. You do get a shotgun called the um, Preacher, I noticed as well. That's um, a lot more powerful, it's kind of like your um, 12 ball shotgun. Totally brutal. Pistols and stuff, generally the Luger is... Um, it's okay, I find sometimes it can take a couple of headshots to kill her with a Luger. All lovely stuff. <laughs> and the Webley, probably the best gun, most reliable gun for insta-kills um, in terms of headshots. From a pistol perspective, the Colt 45 is pretty good as well. You can rely on that most of the time to take a head out. I've got some mines here. Give them a couple of mines to play with. And they're gone. Buy one, get one free. Up there, can't really see that guy. Have my excellent headshot. Oh, he stumbled and missed him. Big guys coming. He's dead. I didn't really do, you know, I kind of cooked a lot of his armor, I didn't really do anything special. Still not going to do a couple of headshots there. 
clipped him big time. Oh, shit. Oh my god, he's beating the crap out of me. Come there. Skip it out of town. Plant that final mine down. down to the last few where the yellow skulls have popped up. Excellent stuff. Give him a grenade to play with. Excellent. One full complete and the way far. He's probably going to get quite mental now. Solo survivors is going to be quite interesting I think at this point. Let's see what I can do anyway. Guy. Uh, die. Shit, run. Those guys are evil, they appear on you in no time at all. Just get the crap out of you, you're not expecting it. circle around him. Some of them will get respawned so do be careful when you're killing zombies to move off of them the spot where you kill them because they will actually come back on that spot sometimes. you soon. Nice. Lovely headshot there. Another armor guy. Someone getting sniped from some of them. Could have sworn they'll hit them. Let's see clip me with his pistol. Oh shit. Shot. 
need an emergency backup shotgun now. I think I've been in trouble about that. Someone took a pop at me then. I'm not sure where from. Said shot there, popping the old helmet. Oh, beautiful. See that replay? Right under the nose. Nasty. And again. Pop the old helmet straight from the side of the skull. suspense here. I'm sure I like this. I know they're there, I know there's big guys around somewhere. There's definitely a sniper around here somewhere, I just saw him leap across. And the problem with those guys is they do take you down really quickly. I'm a little wary of getting myself into um, open spaces without much colour, shall we say. Must be close to clearing this. There's a couple of guys coming up, a couple of zombies coming up. Oh no! Where did he come from? Oh, well, that was it. Thanks for watching.